Hey guys, TikTok Sully here, or just Sully, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video taking a look at Lil Uzi vs Instagram, and I'll be rating some of his outfit pictures on a scale from 1 to 10. Recently, Lil Uzi has pretty much become a full time Instagram fit pic taker because he's not been dropping any music, and that's pretty much all we've been seeing from him. And a lot of people have noticed this as well because he's not just uploading any regular Instagram fit pics, he's actually taking some proper detailed shots and they're almost like in a fashion forum type format. And to be honest, he's been coming with some hard outfits recently so I thought I'd take a look at them and give you guys my opinions and of course give you guys a rating out of 10 um, and just give you guys my thoughts on the outfits so let's take a look and see what they're saying okay so the first thing I need to do is obviously go on his Instagram and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right from the bottom and I'm just gonna work my way up to the top and um, so it's almost in like a consecutive order and we can see what he was dressing like before and then what he's dressing like now so the first outfit we're gonna take a look at is this Gucci outfit because this is one of the first ones that he uploaded when he really began uploading these types of pictures and I remember when he first uploaded this one I thought it was a sick fit at the time and looking at it now I still think it, it's a great fit so this is a full Gucci outfit and something else that I really like about Uzi's outfits is that he tends to work with one specific designer or aesthetic and he builds his whole outfit around that but getting into this first outfit we can see that he's got the silk Gucci shirt matching with the silk shorts and then he also has the Gucci socks matching with the Gucci loafers and I like that he only rocked one chain here which is almost in line with the color of the shirt and it really lets the clothes do the speaking. He also matched his hair with this outfit which was probably coincidental because he probably just had green hair at the time but it definitely added to it and elevated the whole outfit. So yeah overall this is a very solid outfit and I'd probably give this like a 9 out of 10. I also really like the proportions here because everything fits in really well so that's another reason why I really like this outfit. The next outfit is the next one over and this one I'm not actually the biggest fan of. So we can see he's rocking a Louis Vuitton top which he tucked in and then on the second image we can see he tagged MSGM for the denim which I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean they're okay but I wouldn't really consider them to be a nice pair of jeans or even something that I would personally rock. And then we can see he also has the Louis belt which has a quick release buckle on it so it's not just a regular Louis belt and that's something else that's really cool about Uzi's outfits is that because like I said he has the money to he can literally buy any Louis belt he wants rock it for one outfit and then put it aside and not have to worry about it again and you know having that kind of freedom it really does allow you to elevate your outfit this particular louis belt i believe is from kim jones's collection and then we can see he matches it with the white air force ones which is just a nice and clean classic silhouette he also has a louis vuitton chain on which is actually really nice and goes well with the top but the overall outfit i'm not really the biggest fan of i definitely like the top and the chain on its own but I'm not the biggest fan of how it's worn here. So I'd probably give this outfit like a six, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. The outfit still does look somewhat okay on him. So I understand why he would rock this, but overall it's really just not to my taste. And that's just because I really don't like how the bottom half and the top half is really like um, working together. Maybe if they were separate in a different outfit, it would work but together it just doesn't look right. The next outfit is another great outfit. This time it's an Avisu outfit just because that's the first logo that catches your eye. And I really like that you wore a tight fitting t-shirt with this one because it really balances out the proportions here, especially with the denim. He's also got on a pink Von Dutch hat. And around this time Von Dutch was trending to some extent so I can see why he's rocking it. And it fits with the theme of this outfit. And he also has a BB Simon belt which does look really good here. He's also got the Avisu denim here again and this is another nice pair. I like how the logo gets cut off by the pockets as opposed to being put on top of them. And something else that I really like about Uzi's Avisu denim is that they always fit him right. You know, Avisu denim actually does come in quite a wide fit, which isn't really all that compatible with today's silhouettes, but they have started to provide a more slimmer fit, which is what you're seeing here, and the cut that Uzi's always buying. And they always look good on him, and they always fit him well, so yeah, that's another bonus point for him. And to top off this outfit, he matched it with the Jeremy Scots, which is another outlandish sneaker that's not easy to rock but Uzi did really manage to pull them off here. I'm not really a fan of Jeremy Scott sneakers. Um, I barely like them on anyone. Even when Rocky was wearing them back in the day, I didn't really like them on him that much either, but I think that Uzi did really kill them here with this outfit. He even matched the belt with the sneakers in terms of the color, which is a dope touch, and it really rounds everything off. This is probably one of his best outfits in my opinion, and I'd give this maybe another nine out of 10 maybe even a 9.5 out of 10 just because i can't really fault anything about this you can tell that he was influenced with japanese anime and japanese silhouettes with this one which is something that he's heavily interested in so again it's another outfit that expresses his personal style and his personal interests so again it just 
makes it that much better and yeah i'd probably give this um, a 9.5 out of 10. next we have another nice and clean outfit this one is by prada because the sweater vest is prada and so are the sneakers but this is a fairly simple outfit and not too much going on which is why i like it it's something that can be worn on the day to day and is much more of a low-key flex because it doesn't scream designer in this outfit he's wearing a blue prada sweater vest with the blue prada cloud ball sneakers and it's a nice little touch that the sneakers have hints of blue on it to match with the sweater and because it's Prada on Prada, I really like that as well. He's also wearing a plain black pant and shirt, which I'm not sure what they are, but judging off the trend of his past outfits, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were Prada as well. I also like the one pendant he's wearing here. It's just a stone pendant and it sits well on the collar. And again, complements the whole outfit because it fits the formal look that this outfit is going for. I really like this sweater on Uzi. I think the dinosaur motif is really cool from Prada and it suits him really well. And as I said, because this is just a simple and clean outfit, I'd give this an 8.5 out of 10 just because it can be worn anywhere but it's still a heavy designer outfit. The outfit isn't even the flex here because if you look at where he is he's standing next to a private jet in the hangar area which is the real flex here and I know I'm solely meant to be judging the outfits here but because the background looks so nice with this outfit even with the hint of blue on the back of the plane um, which complements his outfit I think that would raise this to a 9 out of 10 but because we are strictly talking about clothes um, I'll stick to an 8.5 out of 10. Next we have this Balenciaga outfit which is okay I mean it's, it's a fairly basic outfit and the things that stand out here are the t-shirt as an individual piece and the denim as an individual piece. So the t-shirt is by Balenciaga. I'm not actually the biggest fan of it just because I don't like the graphic print, but I just noticed that it says Spring Summer 2006 on it. So this is an archive Balenciaga piece, which I've not actually seen before, but yeah, I don't really like the graphic print, um, but the stripes are nice and I do like it as a basic tee for sure. The denim is by Face Tazam Tokyo, and I definitely like the denim the most here because it's a real nice pair, which has a two-tone wash. Um, and both the washes are really nice and i also like the slight branding on the kneecaps to give it an even more of a unique look and to be honest the color palette with the overall outfit here works really well and i just feel that the graphic print really throws it off for me uzi also paired it up with the standard white air force one lows again which is a good choice for brighter colors like these and it definitely lets the clothing do the speaking because they are some pretty heavy pieces but overall i'd probably give this outfit like a 7 out of 10 without the graphic print i'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10 even though it's not too experimental um, and that's just because it looks good and after all that is what fashion is about everything fits in well and is a solid outfit so yeah i'd say 8 out of 10 without the graphic print and 7 out of 10 with how it is. Next we have another Louis Vuitton outfit. This time it's a bit more heavier because he's definitely wearing some more crazier Louis pieces. And right off the bat I can tell you guys that I'm not really the biggest fan of this outfit. Generally I just don't like a lot of the pieces here. But because it is Uzi and you know he almost has the right to wear eccentric outfits like this because he is a famous superstar. He did do it justice as best as he could. But overall I'm just not really a big fan of it. Getting into the details of the outfit we can see he's rocking a Louis jacket over a Louis t-shirt and I really don't like either of these pieces if anyone else were to rock them they definitely look a bit more gaudy but because it's Uzi and he's trying to apply it to a more rock star type of outfit he wore it as best as he could I definitely don't like the pocket detailing on the jacket and even the fur collar but the wash is nice he paired it up with some leather pants and then finally the leather Louis sneakers which normally I don't really like this silhouette but Uzi did manage to pull them off really well here and that's pretty much the only part of this outfit that I like which is the bottom half the color of the shoes is also a real nice brown leather and then we can see he also rocked a Cuban link around his ankle which definitely complemented it and the whole luxury idea of this outfit and I like that he wore a leather pant here instead of just a standard black denim because it does go a lot better with the shoes now this was of course another Louis Vuitton themed outfit so Uzi also has the LV airpods in and even the Louis Vuitton watch which I believe had only just released at the time when he uploaded this so this was more of a total flex of a picture um, of current fashion and he was just trying to be as flashy as he could while trying to have a little bit of style but making sure that you know it's a totally complete Louis Vuitton outfit. I mean he tried his hardest but overall I don't think all the pieces work together here and the top half is really just not something that I'm interested in at all. So I'd give this one maybe a 5 out of 10 maybe even a 6 out of 10 just because the bottom half is nice and the fact that he was actually able to pull off the sneakers when I cover the top half of it um, is it is a good attempt next we have a more toned down Louis Vuitton outfit and this one's a lot better because he's not trying that hard and the pieces here are really nice again he decided to rock the leather pants and they do look a lot better here because the angle and the pose is better so they probably do look a lot better on the other outfit when he's standing up but this one he has a Louis Vuitton bomber jacket on which is a real nice piece just by itself 
and it goes really well with the leather pants and then he also has the Louis Vuitton beanie on and then also the Louis Vuitton sneakers which is the only aspect of this outfit that I'm not really the biggest fan of. To be honest he did pull the sneakers off as well as they could be pulled off but if you pull the sneakers out of this outfit and just take them as an individual piece they're not really a nice sneaker. I always found the older Damier Louis Vuitton sneakers to be a bit too gaudy because they were the sneakers that the rich people would be attracted to and just to say that they're wearing Louis Vuitton and then they'd wear the worst fitting pants with them and just really make them look really bad. So now for me they really become associated with that type of style so I'm just not really a big fan of them. He also has the Louis Vuitton belt on which you can slightly see so this is again another Louis Vuitton themed outfit and because of that I'll give him some extra points and I'll probably rate this like a 7.5 out of 10 maybe even an 8 just because the proportions look really good here um, and if another rapper tried rocking all these pieces they'd probably wear it a lot worse so for Uzi I'd give this an 8 out of 10. This outfit is also something that can be worn casually because it's not something too loud but because the jacket is so hard it speaks enough for the whole outfit and like I said wearing the leather pants here really completed it for me. Next we have an undercover outfit which is the standout piece in this outfit even though he is wearing a box logo hoodie but that kind of camouflages into the background because the colours are so similar to the rest of the outfit. So here he's wearing a Stussy hat matched with the Louis Vuitton scarf or towel or whatever that is um, and that's an acid green colour which really stands out. And then he has the Supreme box logo hoodie, which is the acid green on black box logo. And then I didn't actually know what jacket this was, but because he tagged it, we can see that it's Kenzo. And I'm not actually the biggest fan of Kenzo, and it's not really a brand that I would consider wearing. But this particular piece, which is a varsity jacket, is actually really nice, and I do like this piece. He also has the undercover denim on, which as I said is the standout piece here. And even though these are a sought after pair of denim within streetwear, I'm not actually the biggest fan of these just because the hybrid I don't really like the hybrid effect on it and it's a bit too split up for me but I do like the branding here across the crotch which actually reads on the cover and it does look really nice and then to unify the whole outfit he has the neon green off-white air force ones which would usually stand out but because he already has the acid green so prominently um, on showing this outfit it kind of just balances out the whole outfit really well. Rating this outfit I personally don't really like it at all I feel like there's too much going on and just the pieces together don't really work with each other either. He's also wearing Gucci socks with the ankle bracelet once again and to be honest this just looks more like one of those eccentric outfits that Uzi rocked just because he could because you know he's a famous rock star um, so I can't really say this is one of his better fits. I'd probably give this like a 6 out of 10 just because the denim to shoe contact does look really nice and the varsity by itself is a nice piece but the upper half definitely needs some more work. So yeah, probably a 6 out of 10. Next we have one of Uzi's sickest fits, which is actually really unique and it gives us another experimental yet functional attempt at fashion because he can't actually walk around like this. On this, he's wearing a Takahiro Miyashita the Soloist Tyvek jacket, which in itself is a very, very hard piece. And then he also matched that with the matching Takahiro Miyashita mask, which actually doubles up as a bag. So that's another sick piece. And I haven't actually seen anyone else rocking these pieces. So this is a dope look for him. And then I also thought that the pants were by Takahiro Miyashita, but I realized that they're actually vintage Jean Paul Gaultier, which was a great choice for this outfit because they're almost like a bondage cargo pant and they work really well with the upper of this outfit. I also like that they are satin material because it gives that bondage kind of feel. Um, which he was clearly going for with a mask like this around his face. And to top it off, with all these expensive pieces, Uzi could have rocked any shoe or boot that he wanted um, because he does have unlimited resources for stuff like this, as I said earlier. But he decided to wear some regular Nike boots, which probably cost him like $100. And that goes to show you that it's not always about the money and you just have to have a good eye for style. On paper, this boot wouldn't really work well with this outfit, but because it is a totally blacked out boot, it does go really well with the bottom half. And Uzi probably chose this because the silhouette was so perfect um, and he could have easily gone for a high-end boot like a Prada or a Dior but it probably wouldn't have achieved the same silhouette as this Nike boot does. So this was a very good outfit. Um, I really liked all the pieces individually here and uh, even the actual image is really sick. I really liked the darkness of it. It really added to the, to the dark aesthetic of the outfit. So I'd probably give this another 9 out of 10 maybe even pushing it to a 9.5 out of 10 just because the jacket is so hard and he did really well with matching it with the bottom half but yeah you know what i'll end the video here um, because i did cover quite a few outfits um, i hope you guys enjoyed it because i thought this would make for a good video seeing as uzi is the number one fashion instagrammer right now but yeah hope you guys did enjoy it if you did then let me know down below and also don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram which is tiktok soy 
and I'll be sure to leave a link to that down below in the description. But that's all for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.